Welcome back everybody, this is Lois back with another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can debug your Ionic 4 application using a WebStorm. WebStorm has a great debugging tools. This is what I'm going to show you in this video. It's basically simple JavaScript debugging tool. Okay, so I'm in the project and I have my app running here. Let me go and start the server. I'm going to go to terminal and I'll say Ionic serve. And it's going to start the server on port 8100 on localhost. And I can see, there you go, I have app starting, localhost 8100. Now once that starts, I want to go and configure my debugger in Ionic. So I can go to tools, and here I will have, actually, we can go from outside. So here we have a debugging tools. So I'm going to go to click here and click on edit configuration. I'm going to delete one of them I have already. So I'm click on class. And then I go to JavaScript debug, and here I'll name it Ionic 4 debug, and I want to target the URL which is basically login, sorry, localhost 8100. So that's localhost colon 8100, and that's it. I'm going to apply that, I'm going to click OK, I'm going to go back to this edit configuration one more time, and you can see it automatically applied this HTTP colon slash slash that's fine click ok now here i want to click on this green button and it will start the debugger now, another thing we want to make sure that we have is called jetbrains ide support extension in chrome so if i go to new tab let me show you uh here uh, as you can see here it says waiting for connection from jetbrains ide support okay that's not an install so what i'll do is i'll go to uh, Chrome Web Store, and here I will search for JetBrains, and that's going to be this extension JetBrains IDE support. Click on Add to Chrome, and you will be adding this to it. So I have actually already installed that, but I will have to enable it. So I'll go to More Tools and go to Extensions, and here at the bottom I can see this is. Uh, JetBrains ID support is installed, but it's not enabled. So I'm going to click on Enable button. I will, it will start my application in uh, in Chrome browser with JetBrains IDE support. Right now, I can see the debugger has started. I can see the console, which I used to see in browser. I can have this debugger tools where I could do, do breakpoints, enable and disable breakpoints. Also, I could just have like a next button here. So let me go in. First of all, log in here. So I'll do always at gmail.com. This is my, not my real ID, guys. So don't try to message me here. I'm going to click on sign in and it will sign me in. And after I log into application, well, it's not signing me in. Let me check. I think I have a wrong email ID and password. So I'll click on sign in again. Now, there you go. I'm in my app now. So here, I want to go to this click button where I could log, uh, where I could log something, and also I could do a break one there. So I'll go to this, uh, uh, where is it? Home. Page. Ts. And hit the button called Console. Log. Hello. This is what this button does. So I click on this, and once I click on that, I can see it's it's basically using this breakpoint in my IDE so this is gonna save you tons of time because you're gonna save a lot of time by going to the browser going to the source and going to do all the break one so you're writing a code you can do a break one right being in your IDE now let me give you a quick tour of this debugger tools first of all we have this button here which basically says resume program the shortcut key is alt command r i'm going to click on that and it will re resume my application now let's go to another page where i sign in so i'll go to login page and here this is the function that gets called when i click on the sign in button here so i'm going to click login here and i want to click uh here to breakpoint not login actually breakpoint so i'll just type in my email address and I'll do hello123 and that should break point here so here I can see I'm breaking point and right now I can see what's in my email so if I click on this that show me a way that Gmail was passed into this function what is the password that's hello123 that is okay and also if I go and resume my application by clicking on this button 
and that will go and lock uh, will, it will break point here so now it will take me to this router.navigate by url and i can see if i just let it go by clicking on this button that will take me here okay so now i have a lot of uh, buttons here i have this current user so let me find this current user function which should be in our users page and that will show me what is the current user so here i'll do a breakpoint and then i'll do click on current user and that should break point here okay let's go so in the user response from this function if i hold over it says cordova not available that's fine because i'm not running this on emulator that's all it will basically show me so if you go to a debugger you have this overview of local variables whatever the values are currently they're holding which is great also you can do right click and you can say add to watcher uh, add to watches so every time this application runs and pass through this function you will see this variable getting filled in with the current value of that variable all right that was a quick introduction to debugging in webstrom uh, yes yeah, so i'll give you a rundown of webstrom a complete rundown of webstrom ide in the next video and also will show you what are these uh, debugging features available in webstrom all right thanks for watching please check out my javascript course on udemy and thanks for watching subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video